Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to give you an update on the tool for the Maypen to mandible leg of Highway 2000. To be more specific, the Maypen to Williams field leg of the highway. Now this highway finished last year, I think it was September last year, 2023. But they have not started to collect toll yet. They said the ex the, they would start collecting toll January 1, then it changed to March, then it changed to April, and now it has changed to July 1. Toll period for Maypen to Williamsfield Highway, ex sorry, toll free period for Maypen to Williamsfield Highway extended to July 1. Now, just to give you a quick summary as to what's going on. The government spent 188 million US to build this road. But Trans Jamaica Highway has the right to collect toll on the road. So they have the right of first refusal because they operate the toll plazas on the other sections of the road. This road actually goes from Kingston to Williamsfield now. But from Kingston to Maypen, Trans Jamaica Highway, through their concession agreement, is collecting the toll. So they also have the right to collect the toll on this section of the highway. But the difference is the government built the Maypen to Mandeville Leg, not Trans Jamaica. But Trans Jamaica Highway is still holding the concession to collect toll. So if Trans Jamaica Highway was to start collecting toll on the highway. They would be collecting toll for a road they never built. The Jamaican government cannot collect toll on the highway at this point because Trans Jamaica Highway has a first right to refuse of uh, refusal on the project. So hence, the road is free. Nobody can co collect toll. Now, what is happening is a uh, the NROC, which represents the government for the road, they build all the highways in Jamaica, is in negotiations with Trans Jamaica Highway. Because remember, the other sections of the highway, when the concession agreement was given, the Jamaican government never paid to build those sections of the highway. So now I guess they're in uncharted territory. And they're not able to come to a conclusion so that is why trans jamaica is not collecting toll and that's why the jamaican government cannot just go ahead and say okay we're going to collect toll we will um go through that agreement that was done the concession agreement in another video in more detail now this is the road we're driving on very nice highway and i must say the fact that it's free might make it even nicer but don't think trans jamaica highway is losing money because remember they never pay to build this section of the road they ex ex they have no expense associated with this section of the road what people are getting on the free section of the road it's so nice so convenient to drive on that they are not exiting in maypen they're staying on the highway and going through the maypen toll plaza where trans jamaica highway will make money and they're going through the vineyards toll plaza where trans jamaica highway will make money so trans jamaica highway is benefiting because they have more usage at their toll plazas further up the road not remember not this section further up so they are also benefit benefiting with the record number of users on the road and NROC owns 20% of Trans Jamaica so they are also receiving dividends from the toll being collected so we will keep you updated on this project but we're going to go through a press release giving more information on what's going on. The toll-free period for use of the Maypen to Williamsfield leg of the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project is being extended to July 1, 2024. The announcement was made by Prime Minister the Most Honorable Andrew Holness during his contribution to the 2024-25 budget debate in the House of Representatives. He said 
that the extension is being granted to facilitate the conclusion of negotiations with Trans Jamaica Highway, which operates the East West Highway from Caymanos to Maypen under concession agreement. Noting that Trans Jamaica Highway has a right of first refusal to operate the new Maypen to Williamsfield Highway, Mr. Holness explained. Trans Jamaica Highway has exercised their right under the concession agreement by making an offer to the government of Jamaica. This offer is being evaluated by independent financial advisors and negotiations are ongoing. In the, meanwhile, in the meantime, the Prime Minister reminded that the government intends to move further westward from Williamsfield to Manchester to Hodges in St. Elizabeth. So that is the end of the update article. So this road currently ends in Williamsfield, but they're actually taking this road all the way to Negril and Montego Bay. So the next phase is going to be done in sections. The next section is going to be from Williamsfield to Hodges in St. Elizabeth, which is right by Black River. And that's the section that they're working on now. And then when that is finished, they'll go from Hodges to Negril and from Hodges to Montego Bay. Alright guys, we will keep you updated on all these projects and any announcements to do with this road. Alright guys, thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day. Yeah.